to determine if 6t to the negative second is equivalent to the quantity 6t to the negative second. Um, again, sort of like number five, this is offering like a disclaimer about the fact that we probably need to be careful. If we wanted the negative exponent to be applied to the whole thing, we would put parentheses. And we're going to prove that. So this one, 6t to the negative second, written that way, 6 times t to the negative second, can be thought of as, just like I said, 6 times t to the negative second. Then we're going to do under the line, change the sign. So we're going to have 6 times 1 over t squared. And we can think of 6 over 1. And we multiply with fractions. We multiply numerators and denominators. So we have 6 over t squared. In fact, normally when we do this with some practice, we can skip from this step straight to that step. We don't need to show the in-between step. But considering this is early on in dealing with negative exponents, that might be helpful. All right, next we're going to look at the quantity 6t raised to the negative second power. All right, cross the line, change the sign. In fact, early on, before I start to try to square something or deal with the exponent, I like to first fix it and make it be a positive. Then I'm going to apply it. So it's going to be 1 over 6 squared and t squared. Each one needs to get squared, which is 1 over 36 t squared. So again, a disclaimer, these are not equivalent or not equal. So we have to be really careful um, and maybe just putting in that times dot will help us avoid applying an exponent where it should not be applied. 